Hello guys, we're entering the final stretch, the final section of our course about view and inertia, four lessons to go, and it's all about authentication and authorization, which means login and register and permissions. So the first part is login form, so we will submit the form and actually log into the system. Let's dive into this video. So now, as we have learned how to work with forms, let's implement the same knowledge in the login form. So if we open login.view, here we'll have a form, and I will paste it from my notes to save you time from typing the HTML. So instead of that paragraph, I will paste the form. Let's explain it. It will be almost the same thing as the create post. We will just call the form login form. The route will be login post, and everything else is pretty much identical. V model errors here, errors email, in fact, we'll have only one error if it's wrong, if the credentials are wrong, then it will show the error. So this is the template part. Now in the script, what do we need here? We need to define the login form, right? So it will be kind of a repeating lesson of what we did already. So use form from inertia view three, then in the props, we need errors, errors object, and then we define the setup method, setup, will be const login form will be use form from an object of email empty password empty and also remember false by default and of course we return that login form here return login form like this and then this is not underlined anymore should be not underlined and let's refresh our page. Build successful. And now if we refresh this one, we have the login form, almost identical to Laravel Breeze. In fact, the code styling is identically from Laravel Breeze. And we will use Laravel Breeze even from the backend now. So login form submit, which is route login post. If we go back to routes web, we will have a separate post request, route post login to some controller, which we'll create now. And route name will be login post. Let's create a login controller now. PHP artisan make controller. Let's call it auth login controller like this. And then in here we specify login controller and the method will be store for example because it's storing the login details and this will be a public URL. Now what will be inside of that store method? So this is where we will use Laravel Breeze. We do public function store from request, and I will show you what is the request in a minute. And then in Laravel Breeze source on GitHub, there's authenticated session controller, and we will copy paste almost exactly what it does. So this is the store method, which is responsible for login in Laravel Breeze. So we need two things from here request authenticate and regenerate the session. We don't need response no content because we need to redirect to home, but we use these two, request authenticate and regenerate inside, and then we'll return, redirect, redirect to where? To home. Home is in Laravel by default in route service provider home, which is by default dashboard, but we will also override that one. Home will be posts in our case. So we authenticate, we regenerate the session and we return. But also one more thing we need to copy from Laravel Breeze, this is login request. It's not a default Laravel request, it's a separate login request auth class from Laravel Breeze, which we need to copy content. So we generate PHP artisan make request auth login request like this. Okay, it already exists for me. Maybe I forgot that I did that already, but you get the point that you need to generate that and the content of that login request should be identical, copied from the Laravel Breeze login request. You can customize that however you want. You can create your own form request for the login. I'm doing that just for simplicity to not create our own authentication because it's already created in Laravel starter kits like Laravel Breeze. So we have login request with validation rules for email and password with authenticate, which actually attempts the authentication. And then in the login controller, we actually need to specify that login request here, which will be auto resolved and auto completed here. So instead of request, we need login request. Let's try it out. We get back to our login form in the database. I've generated a fake user with fake email. So let's see 
if it works and if it redirects where it needs to, we click enter and we are inside of the dashboard. This is great, but that dashboard isn't actually protected yet. So we need to add a middleware in the routes web to these two, for example, we do route group with middleware auth and callback function of these two routes. So these will be not public routes and login will be public routes, right? So now let's try if it works. We refresh, we are not redirected to login, but let's log out. For now, we don't have logout functionality and we will do that in the next lesson, but I will show you one trick how to log out if you don't have that. Just delete the cookies. So cookies for that URL, remove, done, refresh, and now we are redirected to login. And if we try to go to posts URL, we are redirected to login because the middleware is working. So we've built the login functionality. As a homework, you can build the register functionality. It's almost identical and you can copy the backend from Laravel Breeze or whatever starter kit. So to avoid repeating myself with another lesson about the same thing, this should be your homework. Now let's work on logout and permissions.